In this video, I'll show you how to install custom indicators on MetaTrader 5. All right, so you probably have an MT5 indicator already. If you don't, you can download one just to try it out for this exercise. Uh, you can get a free indicator from the MQL uh, source code library. I would recommend against using these in actual trading because you never, you don't know how they work and um, uh, there might be some bugs in it that you don't know about. So you would have to test it thoroughly. So if you're gonna get an indicator, a custom indicator, have it programmed by a reputable programmer or buy it from a source that you trust. But just for this exercise, we're gonna use the uh, source code library and we're gonna download an indicator and install it. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'll just take any random one here. Let's let's take a look at pip chart. What does pip chart do? Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just download that. We'll take a look at it. Okay, so I'm gonna open the file explorer to find out where I had downloaded the file. Downloaded the file. So I'm gonna look in downloads, and it's there in pip chart. Okay, so once you have the file downloaded. Now this is the MQL5 source file, uh, and I'll explain that a little bit more in a bit, but locate the file that's uh, been downloaded, and then open MT5, then go to view, I'm sorry, file, open data folder, and this is the data folder for your MQ, uh, MT5 install, then go to MQL5, and then indicators. Okay, now you wanna bring up that window where you have download, so you can just hit Control N for new screen, and it'll bring up another file explorer screen, and you can go to downloads, and then simply drag this into the MT5 folder. Okay, now this is called pip chart, so we're gonna look over here, and when you go to insert indicators, custom and the new indicator will come up at the bottom and as you can see it hasn't come up yet so what you want to do is restart mt5 all right once you've restarted mt5 you go to insert indicators custom and go down to the bottom and that will show the custom indicator pip chart so we're going to select pip chart when you open it up, it's going to provide you with the settings so you can set up uh, whatever settings you want. This one obviously doesn't have very many, so we're just going to load it as it is. And there you go. Whatever that does is what it does. OK, so a couple notes here. Uh, there are two types of files. Uh, one is the source code file and one is the executable file. The source, the source code file is basically the uh, it's in a format that humans can understand. That's what the program is used to create. Uh, the indicator and then that file has to be converted into something the computer can understand and that's the executable the ex5 file so um, regardless of which one you have you can just drag it into your um, mt5 folder as you can see here and we uh, we originally put this pip chart mql5 source file code uh, source file in here and when we restarted MetaTrader 5, it automatically turned it into a uh, EX5 file, which is the MQL5 program, as you can see here. So that's how you install the indicator. Now let's take a quick look at removing the indicator. So if you wanna remove the indicator, you simply just delete it out of this folder. Um, if you wanna keep it in MetaTrader, but you just wanna take it off of this chart, then you right click, go to indicator list, remove or delete that, um, that indicator and you're back to your normal indicator I mean your normal chart uh, settings and as I mentioned if you want to completely remove it from MetaTrader 5 just delete it out of this folder and then restart MetaTrader 5 and you you won't see the indicator in your list anymore all right that's all there is to it if you enjoyed this video if it helped you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe it helps me a lot and thanks for watching